How you doing, everybody? I'm Stephen Kirk, and this is Shuttle Pod One. Yep, that's right. This is a full-size shuttle pod from the TV series Star Trek Enterprise, and it's one of only two that exist in the entire world. And it's going to be up for auction, and you might be able to take it home. Let's take a look at the outside of this bad boy. This is what's actually known as a process vehicle, by the way. This actually divides into three different sections, so the camera can get in and shoot from different angles. So this is a full-size. Full-size mock-up, this is something that you would have seen on the show on an almost weekly basis. They use this shuttle pod almost constantly on Star Trek Enterprise. The detailing on these things is incredible, all the way down to the reaction control thrusters that are on the outside here. We've got two different doors, one on each side, so you can get in and out. In addition, there is even a hatch on the top, which you didn't see very often, but it does open up so you can get in. Uh, we also have uh, fully functional thrusters on this unit. You can see that it's lit up in the back here and uh, that of course would be augmented by the graphics department but it's uh, it's great that this is so fully functional so the actors really had something to work with. I think the outside looks cool. What do you see the inside? Let me check this out. Oh I'm just kidding the buttons don't really work. <laughs> Okay, now that we're inside, this is when things really start to get interesting. Take a look at this over here. When we first got this shuttle pod, there were no interior controls at all. Uh, it was all stripped down from the, from the uh, close of the production. Well, I got a hold of Mike Okuda, who actually designed all the graphics for the shuttle pod, and he was generous enough to work with us to actually recreate in detail all of the controls that you see in front of you right now from his original art files and even some that he didn't have anymore and he recreated for us this is as accurate and as as complete a shuttle pod as you are ever going to get mike sent his art files to the paramount sign shop the very place where the control panels were made for the original enterprise shuttle pods and they were able to recreate using the same materials the same techniques these control panels that you see the details on these control panels are phenomenal because it's not just a matter of having little buttons and switches. All of the graphics, all of the, the text that's on here, it's all, it all has a meaning, it all has a purpose. It was all made to be as functional and as realistic as possible. We actually did research and we were able to find the exact same monitors that were used on the show and Mike supplied us with graphics that we were able to have printed up and uh, put inside the monitor casing so these are accurate as well. On the dash panel itself, there's some really great detail. These gray switches that you see are actually the same style that were used on the original Star Trek television series back in the 1960s. You may have seen these on Captain Kirk's chair. All the three-dimensional buttons that you see on here are actually just little rubber feet that you would use to put on the bottom of a vase or something that you'd put on a table so you don't scratch up the surface. But when you put those out of context and you put them on these control panels, they look like futuristic keypad buttons. One of the great details on this dashboard, and it's the only backlit panel used in this entire thing. If you're familiar with Mike Okuda's other work from Star Trek The Next Generation forward, all of his control panels were Okudagrams. They were all backlit control panels that had a flat surface, which is very similar, of course, to the touch screen technology that we have today on our iPhones and iPads and everything. Back when Mike originally created this stuff, though, that was a, a new technology. Well, when coming up with the design for Enterprise, Mike wanted to go to a more organic, earlier design, so that's why we have all the buttons and switches. But there is one panel on here, and it's this navigation panel that is a uh, sort of a nod to the, uh, the uh, acutograms of days gone by. It's a backlit panel with a little shuttle pod icon in the center and all these great graphics around it. It's really, really a fun piece. And the fact that it's still functional after all this time is really great. So and it's not just the cockpit that's complete. We've actually done the whole shuttle pod in detail. Let's take a look at the back now. We've got these drop-down panels that are completely detailed. We have more monitors mounted in the back. There's running lights in the back as well. You've seen this in all the episodes, and it's one of the great things about a process vehicle like this, because once you open these different sections up, you want to be able to see that detail. So every inch of Shuttle Pod 1 is done in fantastic detail. Well, there you go. There's your look at the outside and inside of Shuttle Pod 1, one of only two full-size Shuttle Pods made for Star Trek Enterprise, and it's available for auction. Check out the details at ProfilesInHistory.com. I'm going to get inside, heat up the thrusters, and get this thing over to the auction house. I'm Stephen Kirk. We'll see you at the auction.